Hey, what's up? This is MarketAlchemist.Camp, where we learn Elixir and Phoenix by building things. Today's episode is actually about what to do after something is built and you want to check the console from production. So here's a site called StatWatch that I made a while back, and actually the entire building of the site was done on Alchemist Camp, so you can find that on Alchemist.Camp or on YouTube. And this basically just watches uh, a YouTube channel, a Twitter ID, and a site, and tracks its stats. So this site is called GoRails. It's uh, uh, actually kind of an inspiration of mine. It's a, a very similar site to Alchemist Camp, except much larger, and it teaches Ruby on Rails. And I've been logging the number of subscribers that YouTube channel has each day and the number of videos produced, the number of views, and Twitter followers, and Alexa rank. You can see they're all going in basically the right direction. And similarly, Alchemist Camp itself is being tracked with the site. As you're probably already aware, locally we can use IEX-S Mix to see the console of an Elixir app. And if it's a Phoenix app, then we have a mix task for that. AHX or Phoenix, depending on the version, that server. And now we have an interactive console. And uh, if we're loading things locally, we can see what's happening. I'll, I'll uh, give you a quick example of that. So to say we look at localhost 4002 slash episodes, load up that page from the local server, and we can see there was a request and what happened if we need to we can throw uh, an iex.pry in there and do debugging how about in production i'm going to switch terminals here i'll ssh into alchemist.camp which actually runs multiple sites it runs alchemist camp itself but it also runs statwatch and i've got compiled releases here i've used something called eDeliver to deploy it there's a different episode on that you should totally check out if you're interested in that and here is my uh, my deliver profile for alchemist camp uh, i have a different profile for statwatch but basically see that i've got a build at directory and i've got a deliver to directory and i've got all the releases under releases and i've got all the builds under builds from my my uh, user directory. So right now I'm at home slash alchemist. I'm going to cd into releases slash stat underscore watch. And here you can see there's a bin directory, a var directory, and some other stuff. As you might expect, the executables are inside of bin. And the executable we care about is actually called the same thing as the app is. So this is a StatWatch app. The executable is called StatWatch. We simply type bin slash StatWatch. Then we'll get a list of various commands that we can run. Uh, there are two things you could do to see the console. One is attach. We'll run that here. Bin slash StatWatch attach. And this looks, well, we are in IEX, and uh, I'll load something on the page so that we can see it. So I'll just go to the About page, and we can see there was a request, get, that went to About, and we can also do whatever else we need to do here. So for example, I could get a profile, or I could list all the profiles. I'll do, uh, I'll just get my own profile, so statwatch. Core, which is the name of the context where I have the profiles, dot get profile by name, alchemist. And you can see I've got the profile and it has a lot of stats in it, which I should have set that equal to something. Alchemist equals that. And now I can see alchemist.stats and I can do whatever needs to be done from here. So that is a very useful debugging tool. Here's the problem with it. When I leave, it's actually shut down the entire process because I attach the process and then I shut it down. So the server is currently down. You just see uh, the Nginx server that's failing 
to get anything from Phoenix, and that's not what we want. So first of all, I should probably start that server. So that'll be sudo system control, which is because I'm on Ubuntu. Uh, start statwatch. There we go, it's back up again. And we'll look at a better alternative. So you can see there is attach. We also have remote console. So a remote console will shell into the console. And then when we quit, we just quit that shell session and the console keeps running. So this is actually what I always do to uh, see what's going on in production when I need to. So bin slash statwatch remote console. So we have access to pretty much everything we did before. We can see our, our various uh, things that are running. The only difference is we're not actually going to get information from uh, requests going into the site. So uh, there are some cases when you still might want to attach to what's running, but if you just want to run a one-time script or poke around and see what's in your database or try to try to uh, understand the state of your app, it's probably better to use Remote Console. And here, when we quit, everything is still running as it was. So that's it for today. Hope you found it useful. If so, definitely check out alchemist.camp and subscribe to this channel. See you next time.